Tie it to Hart. Nowhere to go, and she ends up traveling. So it'll be Okoboji basketball. Mia Graham checking in now for the Mustangs and giving her sister Taya a little breather. For those of you just joining us, this is Craig Johnson alongside Kenny Schilling. We're at the Okoboji High School Auditorium. Okoboji with a 12-6 lead over the Mustang ladies right now. And uh, 222 on the clock. There's an unforced error by Okoboji. It was a zig when you should have zagged yep, play. That's perfectly uh, that's a perfect comment because that's exactly what happens. The girl thinks she's going one way and throws it there, and by the time the ball gets her, she's long gone. So there is a uh, look at the offense. Inbounds not fast. Good. So she drove into the lane and a nice eight footer there. Yeah, nice little drive. And there's a travel by Okoboji. Uh, uh, she wasn't real happy with the travel to the ref and a little disgusting. I think uh, disconcerted was yeah. be the word. I'd, she's going to come and take a break. That was Shaylin Adams called for a travel and uh, may have uh, jammed a finger on Taylor Carsonson. Yeah, and then. Uh, Jessica Samble trying to get it back, ends up committing a reach-in foul. So that's Jessica's first, team's first. From here's today either. At times, so they're working out some of the kinks, Kenny. It's oh, 12 yeah. to 8 here, 131. There's a shot from Sandbolt. It's no good. Controlled by the Pioneers. Here comes Megan Pichong across the timeline. It's a nice dish pass down to Darbone for a layup. Horn, more with you. Corner Service in Little Rock is the place to go for all your vehicle maintenance needs. From oil changes to overhauls, get a set of new tires, or even for money, their service station is located at 415 Main Street, Little Rock, and they can be reached at 92794. Corner Service, Main Street, in Little Rock, 492794. Service. You think the uh, fence uh, should have back there? Abby Taylor back in the ball game for Okaboji. Got those two fouls early. And a nice arching shot there by Shaylin Adams. Same spot as last time and hits it again. Eight foot yeah. shot or ten foot shot. Yeah. And I think I told you on the trip over here. I said uh, this is always a tough place to play for us because it seems like Okaboji always on their home court. There, there. there you go. All right. Here we go. Taylor Carstensen at the line for two. So there is a free throw on the way. And that is good. I tell you, if I shot free throws that well, I might have had a different career. Kid. Yep, there you go. <laughs> he could be retired from the NBA I by could've, now. I could have. I could have. Yeah. It's it's laughable, isn't it? That was job just in two from them, but he'll pass. Quite even looking for that all night. And uh, yeah. Ryan Eckles, there that was every taste of him now. Mark, it's shooting, but a full bust for this kid. Right, and that's her. So they've got three players with two fouls that are so just not top shot. Daniel even. Making one of two there in that trip to the basket. Mariah Terhart coming in. Give her some. So you can feel. Looks like she may have twisted an yeah, ankle yeah. there. She kind of tried to bend so on. Uh, so in fact. She's been yelled out. Just, I don't get the real injury here. No, it's very painful. So that's some bring the anger. I'll get them. Medic sheet on right up. Feet. Looks she did a lot of the same pain right now. Yeah. So it's a good defensive effort there. Nearly stolen away by Sandbolt. Darby Jones in as well. It's a two shot long jump. Emily Wentz with from kind of the top of the key. Carson driving it into the paint. 
Freeman may have oh, oh. Harvey up there. I believe Jess Sam kind of fingers off of the box. Like he's mounting up. Uh, not the box. No. He's fat. Good count. He's fat. He's 20. He's real kid. Four here. Mary down. Bobby yeah. Jones makes all. He's been. On Emily Wentz, that's going to be her second. So that's going to put Maddie De Beer at the free throw line for two. This is a double bonus situation. Ideal scenario to cut into the lead with the clock stopped here. Yep, that's for sure. And that's a nice free throw from Maddie De Beer. Nice job. Up and good. And that second free throw is up and also good. So good opportunity there for the Mustangs. And they take advantage of it. 30 to 17. There's Keeley. And that second one is also good. Six for six she is. So less than a minute left in the first half. Mustangs can get a stop here and score at the other end, get it underneath double digit before halftime. That'd be a big plus. Second of Chong called by, uh, I believe, Danielle Eben. But they passed it all around. Yeah, and that's Danielle's second, and uh, that was a team seventh. Set. Okaboji at the line. Personally, outsourced a piece of equipment that sits at the center of your operation, that transports your most precious cargo. Canada, a country that is not America. Now you know. And now, next time you get it right. Because Sudengay Industries manufactures the world-class Ox Portable Auger right here in America's heartland, George, Iowa. Ox Portable Augers from Sudengay. There's work to do. The Ox. Farmers, are your 2013 profits protected from bad weather? The extreme weather of this past growing season is in the rearview mirror, but now you need to plan for next season. Otter Valley Insurance in George now offers total weather insurance, providing coverage against drought, excess moisture, heat stress, and fall freeze. And the program pays out automatically when bad weather hits. That means no paperwork and no adjuster coming out to your farm. Call Otter Valley Insurance at 712-475-3325 to learn more and get a free quote today. That's Otter Valley Insurance in George, 475-3325. It's time to write checks and pay bills on the brief with the house you can with the help of on a bill pure bank you'll simply in heat water ignition heat all pump speak water heater and re plotter letter us up 13 by it was very much appreciated and now we have a water system that provides powder much with the architect for swing and heat no one's George hey fun he's looking upon herself and uh, uh, yeah kind of stepped her game up a little bit and scored uh, eight points that first half so We can, uh, we can definitely thank Taylor Carsonson for making all of those free throws. That's a big part of the reason that the Mustangs are only down by nine here yeah. at half. Six for six from the line, I believe, for Taylor. Yeah, she was six for six. Which is exceptional. Uh, we are 10, 10 for 18 from the free throw line at halftime. Boji yeah. is uh, actually doing something. A nice job here. Yeah, and they even got a kid playing the guitar with a, and he's got a cast on his arm, and he's still playing the guitar tonight. That's dedication. That sure is. So you can't, you can't play basketball with a cast on, but you can sure play the bass, right? There you go. Both teams back out of the locker rooms, warming up for the, for the second half here. Of course, they switch ends, so like Craig pointed out a little bit ago, hopefully the, the lid will kind of stay off our basket the second half and we can make a little run and just do what we do best. Oh, and they'll be attending more to her taping of her ankle after the game gets underway here. And Mustangs will start the second half with the ball.
So this has been a great time so far. We've got a, a great half of uh, basketball in the books. 30 to points. So, so to got it. Uh, so those things work on the power. And I believe Taylor Karstensen just got. Oh, no, they called Abby Eben. That's going to be his third.